Monday's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. We are officially 32 days away from WrestleMania. And tonight here on Raw, the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle, will be in action. But in tonight's main event, here in San Antonio, we got an epic grudge match of weeks in the making. The phenomenal AJ Styles set to go one-on-one -on -one with the great liberator, Sami Zayn. And the catch here, Sami Zayn's best friend, Kevin Owens, is banned from ringside. Styles with an opportunity at retribution tonight on Raw. We are set to kick things off from San Antonio, as we mentioned, with the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner. And the man who this past Sunday targeted his old tag team partner, the WWE Champion, the man he will face at WrestleMania, Randy Orton. We're gonna talk all about it in moments as we are set to kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. Well, as this past Sunday in Anaheim, Randy Orton went one-on-one -on -one with Rob Van Dam and successfully defended his WWE Championship. But after the matchup, the original bro, Matt Riddle, hitting the ring, targeting his former tag team partner and getting his hands on Randy Orton for the first time since Extreme Rules back in August. Riddle used that sledgehammer that Randy Orton used on him back in August the 7th at Extreme Rules. Riddle has not forgotten and Matt Riddle set his sights for the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. But Riddle's got his hands full tonight with a fire-breathing Celtic warrior, Sheamus. It is fight night here on Raw. And his opponent from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic warrior. What well, is coming up on February 25th and February 26th? WrestleMania. And on WrestleMania Sunday, the main event has been signed. The WWE Championship is on the line between Randy Orton and the Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle. A rivalry that has been brewing since last spring. Riddle has been waiting to get his hands on the, on the Viper since last summer. And now their roads meet at the grandest stage of them all. Again, WrestleMania will be Saturday night, February the 25th, Sunday night, or excuse me, Sunday night, February the 26th. And WrestleMania Sunday will feature Randy Orton and Matt Riddle. We are set to kick things off from San Antonio tonight on a night that'll feature a huge grudge matchup between Sami Zayn and AJ Styles with Kevin Owens banned from ringside. More on that situation later tonight, but Matt Riddle looking to pick up some momentum on the road to WrestleMania. And on the other hand, Sheamus looking to pick up some much needed momentum. It has not been going well for the Celtic Warrior these last couple of months. Remember we saw Sheamus lead a team back at Survivor Series on Thanksgiving night and really ever since then, ever since he took that loss and he was a clean sweep to Team Drew McIntyre at Survivor Series, Sheamus has really not been the same man. He lost to become the Intercontinental Champion back on December the 7th at Raw Homecoming. Him and Jinder Mahal came up short in the Tag Team Eliminator in the midst of the Royal Rumble. Of course, Sheamus was eliminated Three. during the Royal Rumble matchup that was won by Riddle. So Sheamus needs to find his own path to WrestleMania and maybe a win over Matt Riddle tonight could put Sheamus in discussion for a future WWE Championship opportunity. And right now, Sheamus trying to capitalize on the opportunity to the fullest. Matt Riddle, he has been waiting ever since last summer to get his hands on the apex predator, Randy Orton. Remember the caveat of that whole situation. Randy Orton wanted nothing to do with Matt Riddle anymore. He wanted to kick his former tag team partner to the side for good. Who, of course, came back for vengeance. Randy Orton dating back to last summer right now, but Randy Orton promised one crack and an opportunity for Riddle and one matchup. And if Riddle failed, and that was it. He would never step foot in the ring again with Matt Riddle. And Matt Riddle obliged to those rules. And of course, Riddle came up short back on August the 7th of last year at Extreme Rules. Because of Randy Orton being the WWE Champion, Riddle earning the opportunity, Riddle has got himself a long-awaited rematch with Randy Orton 
this time for all the marbles. And it's at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. What a fight that is going to be coming up on the 26th of February, WrestleMania Sunday. I cannot wait to see how those cards come together within these next 32 days. Sheamus going for a shot on Matt Riddle. Riddle able to dodge it, but Sheamus, look at this, going for a choke slam there, but a nice counter for the original bro. Trying to build momentum tonight. And a senton there, a bit of a broton, if you will. Matt Riddle looking to keep the fight going on the Celtic Warriors. Sheamus, and down he goes. Hooks the leg into the cover. Nice bridge by Riddle. Not just yet, but a close call for the Celtic Warrior. And again, we are hot off the heels of the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view this past Sunday night at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. What a pay-per-view it was. Of course, Becky Lynch from Monday Night Raw winning the six-woman Elimination Chamber matchup. She will face Asuka at WrestleMania for the WWE Women's Championship. Of course, the Intercontinental title was defended on that night as well. Pete Dunne handing Karrion Cross his first loss since returning to the WWE back in the fall. Here's a right walking away of Anaheim, still the Intercontinental Champion. All that and so much more took place this past Sunday. The replay is available right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to check out the replay of Elimination Chamber as the road to WrestleMania continues. Riddle trying to get back in this fight. Oh, man, what a kick. Going to take the nose off of Sheamus as Riddle heads to the top rope here in San Antonio. And a bro time for the top into the cover. Looking for the W tonight on Raw. Not just yet as Sheamus gets the shoulder up. And how is Randy Orton feeling after the Elimination Chamber this past Sunday? A hard-fought victory, credit where it's due, over Rob Van Dam retaining the WWE Championship. But of course, Matt Riddle hitting the ring, as you saw, and using that sledgehammer to the gut of Randy Orton. Riddle has not forgotten about when Randy Orton used that very hammer on him back at Extreme Rules, left him laying in a pile of misery in the middle of the ring. All roads will lead to their WWE Championship main event in 32 days. 33 days for WrestleMania Sunday, nonetheless, but Riddle trying to put Sheamus away. Sheamus has something else in mind here. Nice shot by Riddle. Putting up a good fight, but he's struggling to put the Celtic Warrior away tonight on Raw. Wait a minute, Sheamus grabbing a hold of the original bro. Oh, could have been going for something there. Possibly a power bomb, but Riddle able to counter out. And there's a counter by Sheamus. Nice reversal there by the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus trying to build some newfound momentum for himself tonight on Raw, but Matt Riddle knows that all the eyes are on the Royal Rumble match winner right now. And he's not looking to come up short on the road to WrestleMania. It's a nice counter again. Sheamus really struggling to put some maneuvers together here. And a running power bomb by Riddle. Too close to the ropes for a pinfall there. But certainly an emphatic maneuver in their opening contest. Sheamus getting whipped off into the ropes. Riddle, nice block by Sheamus. Able to avoid whatever Matt Riddle had in mind. But there's Riddle, look at that. Able to dodge Sheamus. Now has him over the shoulders. The strength of the Rumble winner. Down goes Sheamus. Matt Riddle, of course, has been in action since the Royal Rumble. He picked up a win a few weeks ago against Damian Priest here on Raw. It's been nothing but Ws for Matt Riddle as of late. Can he keep it going here tonight in San Antonio? Sheamus is down and out, really struggling in this contest. Riddle, oh no! Looking to send Sheamus through the canvas for good! Into the cover! And Matt Riddle picking up a huge victory tonight on Monday Night Raw! Sheamus has been struggling as of late, and unfortunately his bad luck continues tonight in San Antonio. Matt Riddle picking up a huge win on the road to WrestleMania and his fight with Randy Orton on February 26th. Here is your winner, Riddle. Matt Riddle is laser focused on the WWE Championship. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Austin Theory has hit the ring. What the hell is Theory doing out here? Theory ambushing Matt Riddle. Well, Austin Theory has failed to become the WWE Champion in recent history, and just last week on Raw, went one-on-one -on -one with Big E, attacked him before the matchup, and Big E defeated Austin Theory. Theory 
fired up here tonight and for whatever reason is ambushing the Royal Rumble match winner. I don't know what this is about. Theory just trying to make a statement tonight. A knockout blow to the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner. The number one contender for the WWE Champion down and out, Austin Theory trying to make some noise here tonight in San Antonio on Monday Night Raw. We are back live here in San Antonio, Texas for Monday Night Raw. One half of the Viking Raiders, Eric, is set for a big time matchup against a man who I'm sure is feeling vengeful after the Elimination Chamber this past Sunday, where he took his first loss since returning to the WWE this past fall. The dangerous, the unpredictable, Karrion Cross is here on Monday Night Raw, and he's looking to make a statement in this matchup against the Viking Raiders, Eric. Ladies and gentlemen, we have not one but two announcements as Karrion Cross makes his way to the ring. First things first, coming up on February the 8th, we have a live premiere. It is Saturday night's main event on the road to WrestleMania. What a night that is going to be coming your way from Raw and SmackDown. And then get this, the Nigerian giant Omos taking a Twitter earlier today and said, I am going to make sure my name is on the marquee for WrestleMania. I am officially challenging any WWE superstar to a match on the biggest stage. When I'm back on Raw next week, I expect my WrestleMania challenge to be accepted. The Nigerian giant Omos making a statement earlier today, and he's looking to face whoever from Raw, or possibly even somebody from SmackDown, anybody in the WWE at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. An interesting development there. Saturday night's main event coming up on the February 8th on the road to WrestleMania. It is a fun time to be a part of the WWE Universe here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button down below. We are just getting started. Nobody does Universe Mode quite like us. But here we go. Monday Night Raw continuing on. What an emphatic way to kick off the show. Matt Riddle with a big win over Sheamus. And then for one reason or another, we're going to have to catch up with Austin Theory to find out. But Theory ambushing Matt Riddle after the bell. Looking to make a statement, I guess, for himself on the road to WrestleMania. But nonetheless, Eric from the Viking Raiders, one-on-one -on -one with Karrion Cross here tonight on Raw. And Cross immediately looking to take the head off of Eric. And Eric tough as nails in there. But Karrion Cross has got to be unglued here tonight. Was on a winning streak for months here on Monday Night Raw, and Pete Dunn able to put the right formula together of hell-bent adrenaline and pursuit to retain the Intercontinental Championship this past Sunday night in Anaheim. Arian Cross took a beating, gave a beating as well. At the end of the day, he was down on the canvas for a three count, and Eric trying to make sure that he's not going to be on the receiving end of a Karrion Cross victory here tonight. Sending Cross to the outside here. Eric might want to take advantage of what I'm sure is an unstable mentally Karrion Cross after his loss at Elimination Chamber. As Cross now sends Eric into the barricade, and it might not have been smart for Eric to chase Cross on the outside of the ring. This man is with something to prove tonight. Karrion Cross, you see, just stalking Eric at ringside. Failed to become the Intercontinental Champion after stalking Pete Dunne for weeks, laying him out week after week. Pete Dunne had the right formula at Elimination Chamber, and I'm sure Cross has not forgotten so soon after that loss as he sends Eric into the barricade again. Cross is looking to put a beating on one half of the Viking Raiders tonight. This is about making some noise, making a statement to everybody in the Monday Night Raw locker room that Karrion Cross is still one of the most dangerous superstars to ever step foot in World Wrestling Entertainment. One. Went in to break the count, and now the fight continues on the outside of the ring. Wait a minute, oh my goodness, a slam on the outside. And Eric has got to be feeling the effects of this assault. 
We ain't witnessing a wrestling match right now. We are witnessing a fight as Eric again is just getting whipped all around ringside here by Cross. And now Cross goes behind. Let's send it, Eric. Oh my gosh, Knight ready to steal steps. Eric might have avoided it. I'm not sure, but at the end of the day, you see he is lifeless right now. Carrying Cross is having his way with one half of the Viking Raiders tonight in San Antonio here on Raw. Count of seven here. Is Eric going to be able to make it back into the ring? Cross normally finishes his opponents one, two, three, or by submission. What a lariat there. Trying to take the head of one half of the Viking Raiders. Now look at this. Oh my goodness. A mean headbutt from Karrion Cross. Eric's got to reach down deep, tap into that intestinal fortitude, start swinging for the fences here. If he wants to get back into this matchup with Cross, who just guts him in the corner. And now stomping away, Karrion Cross is unglued tonight. Clearly is reeling after that loss at Elimination Chamber, and Eric showing some signs of life. Oh, goes for the clothesline there. Cross able to counter it out and just puts Eric down on the canvas. Cross has got something else in mind here. Cross is having it his way, and now the pumbling. Doomsday is coming upon Eric right now, and I don't think the Viking Raiders care about it one bit. A shot by Cross. Oh, wait a minute. No, going for that straight jacket here. Eric is all kinds of tied up in the middle of the ring. Karrion Cross has got it locked in possibly tighter than ever, and Eric's got no choice but to tap out. Karrion Cross back in the win column tonight, making sure he wasn't going to lose two victories in a row. And Mr. Doomsday himself. Absolutely coming out tonight, Vengeful. Coming out tonight with a fire under his ass to win the matchup and make a statement while doing it. A beatdown on Eric tonight. And I don't know who the hell wants to get and carry and cross his way. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And Cross is heading back out to the outside. Eric is laid out. Come on, the match is over. I know you lost at the chamber, but you don't have to do this. And a suplex on the outside. Karrion Cross isn't done, making an impact tonight on Raw, and another lariat to Eric. Karrion Cross wants to remind the Monday Night Raw locker room that even after his loss at Elimination Chamber, he is still a dangerous son of a bitch. Eric is worse for wear right now. He's got no idea where he is, and Karrion Cross is continuing the pumbling. The referee's just standing by side. I really can't blame him, because who the hell wants to get in Karrion Cross's way? Eric is lifeless right now. This is ridiculous. The match is over. Cross is still beating the hell out of Eric. Oh, come on now. Not a power bomb. A running sit out on the outside. Eric's got to be knocked out cold. Looking up at the lights here in San Antonio. Somebody's got to put the stray jacket on Karrion Cross for once. Well, the action continues tonight on Raw. One half of the women's tag team champions, Indy Hartwell, set to battle it out with the ballsy badass Shotzi. Plus, Mr. Monday Night Rob Van Dam looking to bounce back. After his loss at the Elimination Chamber to Randy Orton, he goes one-on-one -on -one with the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. And the victors of those matchups see Indy Hartwell getting a victory over Shotzi with an assist from Candice LeRae, plus Rob Van Dam back in the win column, a big win over Jinder Mahal tonight on Raw. Well, this man, the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin, has been struggling to pick up a victory as of late. He lost to Karrion Cross last week on Raw. He has seen recent losses to Pete Dunne, Dominic Dijakovic, and Damian Priest as well. But the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin, full of extraordinary talent, looking to bounce back tonight in San Antonio, and he goes one-on-one -on -one with the invincible Ilya Dragunov. Former NXT United Kingdom champion is back in action on Monday Night Raw. And on the road to WrestleMania, everybody's looking to get their hand raised and build momentum 
towards the grandest stage of them all. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a major announcement to make regarding WrestleMania starting next week here on Monday Night Raw. It is the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Four teams from Raw, four teams from SmackDown. The finals will take place on WrestleMania Saturday, and the winners of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic will move on to WrestleMania Sunday to challenge Johnny Gargano and Amaso Ciampa for the WWE World Tag Team Championships. That is gonna be an epic tournament taking place on the road to WrestleMania. Eight teams. Four of them from Raw, four of them from SmackDown. The Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic kicks off next week here on Raw. And a major opportunity hang in the balance. The finals of the tournament take place WrestleMania Saturday, February 25th. The winners are going to compete on WrestleMania Sunday against DIY for the World Tag Team titles. Huge news on the road to the grandest stage of them all. Let's continue on here as the Irish Ace Jordan Devlin goes one-on-one -on -one with the invincible Ilya Dragunov here tonight on the Red Brand. And still to come in moments here on Monday Night Raw, your main event tonight, the great liberator Sami Zayn set to meet the phenomenal AJ Styles. Kevin Owens banned from ringside due to the actions of Kevin Owens during his matchup with AJ Styles two weeks ago on Raw. We're gonna discuss that. More in detail in moments, but Dragunov and Devlin one-on-one -on -one here on Monday Night Raw tonight. And Devlin, nice push off, nice kick. See if Ilya Dragunov can pick up the victory or if Jordan Devlin can get his hand raised for the first time in quite some time. Nice sit-out powerbomb there. Not watching the ring awareness. But still a nice maneuver nonetheless. Dragunov working over Devlin here, nice maneuver. And Jordan Devlin's been struggling as of late. It's the first time we're seeing Ilya drag it off back in action in a little while. He's gonna pick up the victory, build some momentum for themselves on Raw. And of course, we know that the WWE Championship will be defended on WrestleMania Sunday between Randy Orton and Matt Riddle. However, the Intercontinental Champion, the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne, is gonna be looking for a top, top challenger, top contender for WrestleMania. Should be very interesting to see who's going to put together the victories, who's going to build some momentum, and possibly challenge the Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne at the show of shows in Tampa Bay, Florida. Could very well be one of these two men. Jordan Devlin would love to run it back with Pete Dunne. The Irish Ace hitting the ropes. He's got Devlin where he wants some. As soon as we got Dragunov where he wants some, and Devlin delivers that knee. Could be a knockout blow there as he follows it up with a moonsault. Into the cover. Not enough to keep the former NXT United Kingdom champion down just yet, but nice damage done. Going to go back to the well with the same maneuver, trying to crush the red cage of the invincible Dragunov. Devlin with a nice jawbreaker there on Elia. Looking over at Elia Dragunov here. Of course, Dragunov was a participant in the Royal Rumble matchup back on January the 1st. May have came up short, but Dragunov's been nothing short of impressive since joining the main roster and joining Monday Night Raw in the draft back in November. Taking Devlin off his feet. Is that all she wrote for the Irish Ace tonight in San Antonio? Not just yet. Dragunov starting to build some momentum nonetheless in this matchup. Dropping Devlin with the DDT. And I'm unloading. And you don't want to let the Ilya Dragunov, the invincible one, get going. Devlin might be in trouble. Second time he's locking in this arm bar here. Is Devlin gonna be able to break out of it? And he is, a couple of shots right to the chrome dome of Ilya Dragunov. Nice kick by Devlin, unloading on him now. Ilya Dragunov having none of it. Look at this, pulls him in for the exploder. Dragunov, fighting back. Trying to cut down Jordan Devlin before he can continue to build momentum in this match. Into the cover to get the victory tonight on Raw. And again, the Irish Ace holds on another moment. Devlin's on spaghetti legs nonetheless, and my goodness! 
You know what I'm talking about? Using your own body as a weapon. Ilya Dragunov ain't afraid to do just that. That is a knockout blow any day of the week and twice on Sunday. Headbutt, uppercut, I don't even know what that was. But it turned Jordan Devlin's lights out for good. Oh my goodness, what a shot that was. Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov. Well, that is a big win for the invincible Ilya Dragunov as his road to WrestleMania continues. Well, it is time for your main event in San Antonio tonight on Monday Night Raw. It is a grudge match several weeks in the making. This man, Sami Zayn, got involved in the Kevin Owens-AJ Styles battle two weeks ago. Tonight, AJ has his chance at retribution against the Great Liberator. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds, Sami Zayn! Well, the reason Kevin Owens is banned from ringside tonight outside of Sami Zayn getting involved in their matchup two weeks ago was this. Kevin Owens had defeated AJ Styles, but it was after the affair that Owens continued the assault at ringside. The senton crushing the ribcage of the Phenomenal One and then followed it up with this Owens stunner. AJ was left out cold. And Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens continuing their dominance here on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn picked up a win a few weeks back against Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits as well. And the KO and Sami takeover has continued week after week. But the phenomenal AJ Styles has certainly taken issue with these two men. And he's looking to right the wrong of two weeks ago in your main event here on Monday Night Raw from San Antonio, Texas. The phenomenal one. AJ Styles is in the house. Styles has not forgotten about that loss to Kevin Owens, and he certainly hasn't forgotten about Sami Zayn getting involved. And his opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. It's been a rough couple of weeks for AJ Styles. Remember back at the Royal Rumble, AJ went one-on-one -on -one with Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. He unfortunately came up short on that night. And then the loss to Kevin Owens just went, made matters worse for AJ Styles. So tonight he's got Sami Zayn. He's looking to bounce back after the issues two weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. And with WrestleMania looming, you gotta wonder whether phenomenal AJ Styles is gonna end up on the grandest stage of them all. AJ has faced off against an all-star list of superstars at the show of shows. Chris Jericho, Shane McMahon, Shinsuke Nakamura, Randy Orton, The Undertaker. Who will stand across the ring from AJ Styles this year? We will find out in the weeks to come, but nonetheless, AJ, Sami Zayn, one-on-one -on -one tonight here on Monday Night Raw. Now Styles immediately taking the fight to Sami Zayn. Brain buster there. No waste in motion by the Phenomenal. Now into the cover. They're going to put Sami away early. It's all about getting the win back. It's all about shutting Sami Zayn in Kevin Owens' mouth. And again, Kevin Owens banned from ringside for this contest after Sami Zayn got involved two weeks ago. Add on the post-match assault. WWE officials having none of it. They want a one-on-one -on -one matchup. No outside interference for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn tonight as Styles unloads on the Great Liberator. Just for the springboard, Moonsaw here, and AJ Styles 
is taking the fight to Sami Zayn tonight on Raw. Out for vengeance, out for retribution, and out to get a W in the win column tonight. AJ is all over Sami Zayn. Well, there's a Sami getting out of the way there, avoiding disaster. AJ almost knocked his lights out off that knee, and Sami Zayn drops him with the DDT dead center of the ring. I'm sure Kevin Owens is watching this back in the KO and Sami locker room. Not able to be out here for this matchup, but I'm sure there's a plan for the great strategist, the great liberator, Sami Zayn, alongside the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Trying to continue their hostile takeover of Monday Night Raw ever since they joined forces yet again back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. And there was Kevin Owens and Edge going one on one in the no holds barred match. Sami Zayn returned in Toronto on that night, laid out Edge and handed the victory on a silver platter to his best friend Kevin Owens. We've talked about how eventually Edge is going to be back here and Edge is going to want retribution on Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. He may be still reeling from injuries after Hell in a Cell in November and the No Holds Barred at the Rumble, but the day is going to come for Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn taking the fight to AJ right there. AJ got to get back in this fight. Well, there you go. AJ's nice counter. It was all over Sami off the opening bell. Sami trying to make sure. And he ain't coming up with the loss tonight, but Styles got something else in mind. Burning hammer there. And Sammy is looking up at the lights of San Antonio. Styles heading to the top. Goes for the frog splash. Didn't get all of it. And that allows Sammy Zayn to get to his feet. But AJ still grabs a hold of Sammy, bringing him in the corner. The phenomenal one is not looking to take his third loss in the month of January. Springboard, mood salt, crash and burn. Just like that, the momentum swings back to Sami Zayn. Sami continuing this fight. He better keep his eye on AJ Styles right now. I don't think San Antonio is too interested in the pandering of the great liberator as AJ Styles isn't either. It's a grudge match for a reason tonight and Styles is looking to beat the hell out of Sami Zayn. Oh, he's going to the outside. Could have been looking for that phenomenal forearm. Sammy quick to get to his feet here. Has got AJ Styles up, and he hangs him up on the top row. What? Wait a minute! The rated R superstar! Edge is here in San Antonio for the first time since the Royal Rumble. AJ Styles coming up from behind on Sami Zayn. Sammy's all tied up. The pitfall. AJ steals the victory thanks to an old rival in the Rated R Superstar. We have not seen Edge since Sami Zayn laid him out. And Kevin Owens stole the victory back in, in Toronto at the Royal Rumble. Edge resurfaces tonight on Raw, and he cost Sami Zayn the victory. Oh, wait a minute. AJ's leaving Sami Zayn. Zayn's not done. Sami Zayn attacking AJ Styles in the aisle away. Sending AJ back to the ring. The match is over, and Sami Zayn is unloaded on AJ Styles. Edge made his way out here, took Sami's eye off the ball, and Sami unloaded on AJ Styles. Oh, wait, Edge running back to ringside. Edge is running back to ringside, making the save now, and unloading on Sami Zayn. Edge has been waiting to get his hands on the man in the black ever since January 1st, and a spear by the Rated R Superstar. We said there was gonna be hell to pay, and Edge has not forgotten about the Royal Rumble. A second spear, Edge has come unglued tonight in San Antonio, Texas on Raw. Sami Zayn getting a taste of his own medicine. How will Sammy and KO respond to this return? Edge is back, and AJ picks up the victory. Thank you for joining us tonight on Raw. We will see you next week. Good night, everybody.
Everything tastes on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm a rock.